And we are back, folks. Sorry that took so long. Yes, I'm wearing something different. And we're on to the next part. Hopefully, I got the other part edited. I'm not sure yet because we haven't reached that far. Mother's sword play. I'm not going to say it. Shanghua was born during the Ming Dynasty into the noble Chai House family of warriors. Fatherless, she was raised well by her kind and protective mother. In time, she learned to use her mother's Chinese sword to practice ancient techniques. Though her mother passed away at a young age, Changhua continued to devote herself to the yeah, sword. Yeah, apparently got brutally murdered by certain someone. Or was that her sister? It's confusing. Proud. Her life, however, was on the verge of taking a sharp turn. Just say sister is who he murdered, dang it. Makes, makes the sex jokes but much easier. Time has passed since your mother left this world. It has. Things cannot have been easy for you. I've never really thought about it like that. From time to time, I just remember what my mother said to me. Okay, so it's not who I thought it was. Okay, so the sister is who Keelik clearly banged and murdered. That, that was answered pretty quickly, folks. So All right, then. Face challenging times. It's up to me to overcome them. Your attitude reminds me so much of your mother. <laughs> and my skill with the sword? That, too, of course. With my mother's sword in hand, I want to find my own path. Naturally. And if you wish to serve your country, like others in your family, that path may be open to you. How so? She is really demanding attention. Do you hear her? For the Emperor's God. If you are serious, it Do you hear that purring she's given? Really? What, you like this new coat? Well, it isn't new. I've worn this for years. It's just been a quite a few years since I last wore it. I haven't worn this since I was a teenager, Dan. I found this digging up shit. Be taken lightly. You will be tested on your intelligence and manners. Well Basically what happened right after I got done with the recording, I noticed the toilet was flooding. I'm like, holy shit, grab stuff to throw on it. And while digging stuff out, I found this. I'm very happy I found this. Are you happy? Are you sure? Yep, that entire first part was pointless, folks. No battle, no fighting, no nothing. We could have kicked the Maid's ass. Who the fuck is this bitch? You as proud, Shanghua. I will, and then some. No one can match my skills with a sword. Don't hurt yourself. The exam has May -may. only begun. I know. Mimi. -me. Oh, is that Moo? My my. Looks great. Moo moo. Oh. Momo. I mean, if you pass the exam. What kind of exam? Did he stab me? I think she stabbed me. Oh shit, we're actually fighting someone. I think this is the only fight too. Which is strange, usually they do multiples but it's not only fight. Marley was so determined to get attention. She's like, you feel busy. I'm going to leave. Was the written exam? Ugh, Just stab it with your sword, girl. If you've got time to whine, you've got time to write. Stab it louder. That's that sounds like grass, not her writing. I hear your brother was on another level. 
He's not around anymore, so what does that have to do with anything? If I get into the Emperor's Guard, I could probably try to find him for you. You could, but to do that, you need to worry more about your exams than Mooncake, no? Okay. She promised she won't tap the dude if she ever finds him. She'll be tapping someone else named Keelik. I'm going to keep playing, I want to say, till... I think I start at 35, could be wrong. So I'm going to keep playing till 45. Friendly rivalry. With who? My face? Some other woman that wants Keelik? Does she have to murder her sister? Is that what really happened? Who the fuck is this bitch? Um, and you are? The name's Liang Lingyu. It's an honor to be here with one of the Chai family. Oh, uh, I can't believe she had this whole other adventure with random characters, friends, allies, and rivals before long meeting Shang Hua and Max. Like, sorry, she's Shang Hua, but before long before Shang Hua meets Maxi and Keelan. I wonder if she'll find a boyfriend too. Oh yeah, in your face, ugly. Yeah, I've never been a leg kind of gal. Really? You guys gave me a panty shot? What the hell? Well, it looks like she's wearing pants. So she gave me a pants shot. What the hell kind of attack was that? I managed to land that weird ass move. For justice? Yeah, justice will always prevail. Oh, so this is the oh. bitch who taught her justice. Wait a minute. Ah, I'll save it for later, folks. I just had a big, booming thought. But I'll save it for later, folks. Another tough training session today. Want to get some food together, Ling Yu? How about we go for another round first? What? Now? Sure. I don't mind kicking her ass more. Right now. You couldn't just ask the enemy to wait while you ate, could you? Okay. All right. It's hilarious, the weapon pulling out for these two does not sound anything like Maxi pulling out his dick. <laughs> it's like they were aware or something, dang it.
I almost won. She almost beat me. It doesn't help that she's clearly fighting in a style I'm more used to than Shang Wa. Can't see! Damn it, Steve! Stop bitching at me! After this battle, we'll go ahead and call it apart. Okay, folks? Yeah, you know me! You've been fighting me this whole time! That was epic! 